Let's talk about these four faces. I think there's something profound confronting us here. In, we see them in Ezekiel 1 and 10. We see them in Revelation 4. But we're also going to discover they are in a strange way in Numbers chapter 2. And in the, they also profile the four Gospels. So let's take a look at that. Vision of the throne of God. We have four faces, lion, ox, man, and eagle. We'll discover the camp of Israel when laid out would organize itself around four camps. Um, one was the camp of Judah, one was the camp of Ephraim, one was the camp of Reuben, and one was the camp of Dan. All 12 tribes clustered, three each, into those four camps. And we discover when we lay this out to scale, that when the camp of Israel was encamped, according to the instructions in the Torah, they apparently, at least in some sense, were a model of the throne of God, as replicated in the cherubim and so forth. But there's something else that's worth mentioning, something else you'll encounter as you study the Gospels. I mentioned these four faces. We have uh, these four faces, the lion, the ox, the man, and the eagle, profile the primary theme of each of the Gospels and was used by the early church as emblematic of those Gospels. Matthew presents us the lion of the tribe of Judah. Mark presents Jesus in his other role, the, the, uh, the Mashiach ben Yosef, the suffering servant. Matthew is Mashiach ben David, the, the, royal, the royal line. But Mark, the suffering servant. Luke, neither. He presents him as the son of man. His humanity is his focus all the way through. And John, of course, speaks of the eagle. And so... Interesting enough, and those, of course, are the four camps of Israel on the east, west, south, and north of the camp. 